Hello YouTubers, Hammy Technoid here and today we're taking another adventure in the green screen man cave and you can see there's the green screen and we'll get a little bit into that a little later because uh, I want to explain a little bit about that but uh, anyway yeah what we're looking at here is my tri speaker setup I got for my tri amp system here in the man cave and what I've done is I've taken this mica this used to be a mica okay and this mica is the there's the front cover for it mica and uh, yeah this used to have two little four inch drivers in it very not very good qualities you know good enough I guess for what they were meant for a middle speaker for a uh, surround sound system you know front stage center speaker but anyway, I took those drivers out and replaced them with these uh, two aluminum domes that I got from Parts Express, and these are quite nice. They sound excellent. They have really good dispersion qualities, frequency responses, good and flat throughout the range. And um, yeah, I'll uh, turn this around here. And whoops, there went the cover for the, the front speed there. Now look at the model number there. You can see the model number. It's the uh, MB. 42-C, yeah, by Mika, the media series, yeah. Well, I just gutted the speakers out of this and turned them into a nice, solid mid-range. Okay, so they work really well as that. And the base cabinet here, this is the base cabinet. And what I did with this is I gutted a Pioneer S910. This used to be a Pioneer S910, and I just took all the drivers out this isn't even the original pioneer driver this is something i got from pots express and it's a good uh base driver uh not quite a subwoofer but not a not a, a full range base driver either it's more on the uh 500 hertz and below so yeah and it has a good space base response down to 20 hertz but what i did is i gutted the cabinet here just so i could make it into a base cabinet and uh, I plugged up the holes for, for the other drivers and I still have the other drivers this is the mid-range driver it's been removed and see it's self-contained so it doesn't even matter what kind of cabinet you'd put that in it's self-contained it's got its own resonance factor and everything so it's taken care of and then the, the tweeters that came out of his were, were quite nice these are quite nice tweeters I may use them in something else but these are ribbon tweeters yeah these are sweet little ribbon tweeters and I, I painted them flat gray. Uh, that was my choice. But anyway, they're, they're out. And I have both sets for both pairs of speakers, for the pair of speakers. And uh, what I've done here, you see, you notice this little guy. This is a plug for the, uh, the base reflex. This is a base reflex cabinet. But I have the choice of either tuning it from the factory like that, wide open, with the hole wide open. Or I can put a, a different tuning in it with this little guy this is a plug with a smaller hole opening or I could just stick one of these guys in there and plug it up completely and make it a uh, acoustic suspension if I wanted to so you know it's it's how I want to do I like to experiment with things so anyway yeah this is the uh, the mid-range and then of course the highs are taken care of by the high air motion transformer and each one of these has its own amplifier this base driver is driven by the Behringer EP4000. The mid-range is driven by the Kava M400T and the high layer motions are driven by the Kava 0.5T and they all get distributed through the Ashley XR1001 uh, electronic crossovers and I have two of them because I need two for the triamp mode. But anyway, I like the way these sound, and the experimentation with the sound is very nice. I can mess around, I can move the mid-range back and forward for spatial enhancement and whatever, you know, time alignment, and however that works. And uh, it, it, they all sound very good. Uh, even running flat with no equalization at all, it sounds very, very good. So anyway, this is just a quick run through of what I got from my speakers in my green screen man cave. And we're going back to that. And I'm going to show what happens when the lighting is right. 
with the green screen man cave and sometimes the lighting is not right and it just turns out awful and it doesn't it isn't worth messing with so anyway what you can do with the green screen is you can put anything you want on it yeah you, know, you basically color key it you know you chroma key it and uh, it becomes whatever you want and you can make anything you want appear on them and I'm using Sony Vegas to do that so anyway until next time Hammy Technoid says see you later